This is Michelle Miner, and this is Buffer Solutions Activity 2. Um, once again, I will, I'm just going to show the video I put together um, of my completed part of outcome. And I'll show you that real quick. Okay, and for this activity, um, what we did was basically take the pH um, 4.7 buffer that we created and we um, did a first dilution, second, and third. So we basically kept breaking down um, and diluting the solution itself and um, seeing what changes were made and um, if the pH changed. Um, for the my buffer itself, it stayed pretty much consistent even after the the drop of uh, the uh, sodium hydroxide. Um, it stayed consistent about an orange uh, color and of uh, the pH of uh, five. After the first dilution, it kind of ranged um, staying around five to six with a kind of yellow orange type tinge. Uh, second dilution. Um, almost about the same. I seen it by the time it got to the three drops. It was like a yellow with a little tinge of green uh, with a pH around, let's say, six or seven. Um, and that stayed consistent around to three, four, and five drops. Um, by the third dilution, when um, I got to the first drop, it turned purple with a pH of 10. Um, by two drops, it was like a red, orange, four or five. Uh, three drops of the sodium hydroxide back to purple and, and stayed purple um, with four drops and five drops. So that kind of gave it a big range of, um, of actually colors because I don't see this big change when you have just one drop. It can turn purple, but with two drops, it's like a red or orange color and the pH is kind of different. Um, it's still on the third dilution. So at... Um, it pretty much ranged um, from kind of staying consistent and going from basically one end of the spectrum all the way to just being a pH of 10, just a basic. And then here is the my pre-laboratory just questions And discussion questions and laboratory questions that are needed to be answered. And I will also upload a video and pictures. Thanks.